flood levels of the Singatoka River came to its rest. Remains of the damage left behind were unimaginable. The old bridge which carried the sugarcane train across the Singatoka River to the mill in Lotoka was smashed to smithereens, tearing the bridge in half. The entire town suffered the wrath of the Singatoka River. In a matter of days, the town was back to normal, but for the people of Nakalavo onwards, was still coming to terms. Plenty demos there from the farm, the copra, okra, and the festivals, yeah, all the, the demos, big demos there, because the flood. Eh? Farms along the Singatoka Valley Road were hammered by the river, which burst its banks and thrashed through farms and even houses. Vegetables that supplied Suva and the resorts along the coral coast were lost. All damage and all the vegetables are damaged because of the flood. And we are finding for the money and we, so we can invest there for our children. My children are going to school, one in class 7 and one in class 6. And another one is going to Kindi this year. So we are very hard to send them to their school. Eh? Roads were still being cleared with mud thick and wet, to which only four-wheel drives and tractors could make it through into town. Some just did it the old-fashioned way by foot, while others had the benefit of doing it Singatoka style, on horseback, in search for a solution. In this time we can't make the uh, money eh, because nothing in the farm. Eh? So we just go see somewhere for the job, eh? if you can find the job. It would take a couple of months for the farmers to get back up, but sometimes a little help is what they desperately need. Thank you. Next is the town that got hit the worst. Very bad this one. It was a very bad situation this one. Only 14 feet water. This is the worst uh, flood we've seen in our life. This is the worst one. Nandi. From the Singatoka side and on through to Lotoka, Nandi was the worst hit. A sequence of two depressions hit Nandi, forcing the river to break its banks and flood the entire town and its surroundings. People were evacuated to higher ground. Nandi town was ravaged by one of the biggest floods Fiji has ever seen. Shopkeepers were lost in a mess, tired and hungry, and with no power or water for five days. Residents of Nandi were out gathering water from nearby drains and water mains to wash clothes and clean their homes. Downstairs, we were ready to show the flood was when coming, we went upstairs. From my friend's place, I went upstairs there. We stayed upstairs there. Schools were badly hit, pushing back the first term. We have got uh, uh, 17 classrooms uh, filled with water. The stand downstairs, there were about 14 inches of water. And on the other side, we have got uh, kindergarten, our new, uh, new kindergarten block. It was half filled with water. And the other classrooms, were almost 17 classrooms, are very, I mean, they were underwater. 